guys, this is a test electronics video demonstration of our 6x8 inch alligator style test fixture with a three plate design and a double sided. Now the three plate design means it has a press plate, a mid plate, and then a plate down inside here that holds the test pins. Now this mid plate is great for cradling boards that are smaller than your finger like this little thing. You can just drop it in there. There's no balancing on pins that are already up. It fits really nice and falls in place. Now, there's cardboard in here, and the reason for that is the customer only gave us one sample board. This is a bad board, so I can touch it with my fingers without any static protection or anything, and it won't hurt anything. Now, the way this works, I'll let you see from the side, is back here, it's locked in place, just as sturdy as if I was using a gas spring to hold this up. You can't knock it down, you can shake it around, it's not going to fall. Now here it unlocks and it lowers the press plate and clamps down in, on the board to hold it nice and firmly in place. Now this little bit of motion here, the rest of the motion, raises the bed of nails plate inside the fixture that you can't see right now, but I'll show you that right now. So the way it works, again, I'll put this rubber bumper in so the press plate will not close so you can see what's going on inside here. So you lower the press plate, which would normally clamp the board down, but it won't now because uh, it's raised up. Now when I go down it, it'll bring the probes up. As you can see it's pushing the probes up right now and that's how the probes come up from the plate that raises up from the inside, just like that. So I'll release this and take these bumpers out. You don't want to actuate that all the way with, with bumpers in there like that. So once again, the way it works, clamps down, holds the board in place, raises the probes. Now here in the top, I'll show you how the top works. Uh, basically, there's test pins in the top, which are just wired to buttons in the top, uh, which get probed from the board in the bottom. So here's the test pins in the top. They're wired down to these button pins right here, which get probed by these pins that come up from the bottom when the test pin board, the bed of nails plate, raises up. And what this does is it brings all the signals from the top side down in here, and all the signals from the bottom side are already down in here, uh, to the electronics inside this enclosure. And another thing too, these are connectors all on all the pins. That way I can uh, remove this for serviceability. This actually comes right out. I can even take it out. It's so easy to service this. You simply unscrew these and this, this uh, pin block will lift right out real easily. And it makes it really nice for uh, changing broken pins. So you just unplug these four and your pin block comes right out just like this. Now you can pull out pins, find pins that are bent, and you can even view straight down these holes and see if everything is aligning right. Now to put it back together is the same way. You just align it up in these holes. Let me get the other side to make sure everything's aligned. I'll raise this up. It should just drop right down. It basically it aligns to the pin bodies. There's no alignment pins or anything. It doesn't need it. And once everything is in there and aligned fine, you just tighten this back down. I like to tighten one partially, then uh, tighten the other all the way just to make it align really nicely. So you tighten that down and then you put your connectors back in and your uh, good to go from that point. Let me put the rest of these back in. Four connectors. Okay, so that's all ready. That's done. That's how that works. And to assemble this, you just put this in place. Now there's, the reason this is like this, with a big hole in the middle of this cover, is because for this specific board, the tooling pin, or the test pins are on the edges of the board. On the, on this edge and this edge. On two sides. So it leaves the whole top open, so I opened this up just so the customer can view the board. 
Uh, it helps to watch the board as you're lowering it down. And also there's snap dome switches and LEDs on this board that they wanted to be able to view. So in the case where the probes are on the edges or maybe in the back, you can do this. Open it up and view the board and access the board even. And you could even go in here with scope probes and stuff and, and do troubleshooting in the fixture if you wanted to. So that's the way that works. Now this is unmodified. They wanted to add their connectors and modify it themselves. So what they're going to have to do is put connectors on this back plate. Now, the way you remove this back plate is just with these two screws right here. You just remove these two screws and this back plate will come right off just like this. And now you can machine it, punch it, scroll sort, whatever you want to do here. Uh, this handle will also come off with these two flathead screws so you could lay it down on your drill press and, and drill or just lay it down on anything flat, scroll saw, or whatever you want to cut your connectors with. Now let me put this back together. So you put the screws in here, same way you just put them in one fairly loose and then the other one tighten it up so it all self aligns really nicely. And that's the back plate is now back in. Now another thing you can do is to access the inside, you just remove this plate. So that you don't even need any tools for this. You've got these uh, rubber bumpers and they just come right off like this. And you can access the whole inside. So here's your uh, test pins for your transfer pins. This would be the top side right here. Are these outside two and these inside two are the inside which probe the the board from the bottom, these probe the board from the top and they switch around and come up from the top. This thing here is a switch. It actuates when the cover is down. Typically you wire this up to start your test program. So when the normally open contact closes, then you notice your, the cover is down and you can start your test. And this comes off fairly easy too. You just lift it out and then you can remove your front plate for modification if you want to put some LEDs or some switches in here, a start stop switch or something like that. You just take out these four flathead screws and this plate will come out. You can also remove these handles the same way, get them out of your way with these flathead screws right here. And this just goes back together, it just snaps right back in just like this. You pull this in and snap it right over, lock it down just like that, it's back in place. And then you put your bottom cover back on with your four rubber feet, just like this. I like to put them all in loosely at first and then tighten them down uh, in a crisscross fashion so that everything self aligns fairly quick and easy, just like that. So that's how this fixture, what this fixture is, the alligator three plate fixture and how to actually take it apart and modify it. So. If you found this video informative and would like to see more videos like this, there are more available on testelectronics.com. So this concludes the video demonstration of the alligator style 6 by 8 inch. That's our smallest alligator, three plate, double sided test fixture. Thanks for watching.